me do an intro here. Okay, um, EC Street Preacher here. Uh, we're getting all set up. We're going to go out and do uh, some street preaching. And I got to tell you, this is one of the weirdest paired up, pair ups I've ever done. Probably even weirder than Anthony Hobbs when I used to preach with him. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going uh, street preaching with a Pastafarian. Uh, one thing we do agree on <clears throat> is freedom of speech. So uh, that's why I'm, that's what we're out here to. Uh, we can at least support each other in that. I mean, there's probably very little that we agree upon, but we do, we do agree that people have a right to say what they should say, and yeah. there should be intelligent discussion uh, between faiths and that sort of thing. So the First Amendment is a is a strong part of this nation, and it's a challenge to go make your voice heard. And if you don't use it, you lose it. Yes. And I would stand up even for people that I really don't even know, people like the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. I, I, would, I would stand up for their right to go out and speak what they speak. You know, even though, oh boy. A lot of disagreements, I don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, but those disagreements especially those 93 Westerners, I don't, under, I, don't, I don't understand where that doctrine came from. <clears throat> But we can have that conversation in public, and we can have it at, at full volume and with passion, and and that's that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so we'll probably cut away to uh, me starting to street preach. Preaching uh, in the snow. Yeah, <laughs> preaching in the snow again. Hey, that's what it's all about right there. Words got to go forth. Anyway, uh, this is uh, EC Street Preacher. I'm going to sign out for now. Okay, uh, EC Street Preacher here. Out here in the snow, another snow preach, and I'm stationed near a marijuana dispensary. High level dispensary. Yeah, high level dispensary, and I didn't want to be like right in front of it because I want foot traffic, and there's more foot traffic out on this street right here. So uh, I'm just gonna let it loose. I'm going to go for it. Denver. Heaven or hell, make your choice. This is your wake-up call. Yes, yes, oh no, the street preacher's here. Oh no, there goes the neighborhood. We got a Christian street preacher out here today. There goes the neighborhood. Out here, outside this marijuana dispensary, one of the, uh, one of the many ways you can destroy your life. Is out here through marijuana yeah. smoking that wacky tobacco you know the Bible calls you a sorcerer I'm out here preaching against sorcerers today <laughs> you're smoking that marijuana you are a sorcerer the Bible states <clears throat> So I hope there aren't any sorcerers out there today, although I bet they'll get some business today. Are you a sorcerer? Don't be a sorcerer. The Bible says that the sorcerers will be put out of the kingdom of God. If you are a sorcerer, God is angry with you. <coughs> Might give me some warning a little bit. Oh, it's kind of dry. Besides being in cold air, I was also on a plane yesterday, so not places where you have uh, lots of humidity. Heaven or hell, make your choice, Denver. This is your wake-up call. But if you're going to a place like this behind me, you are on a fast track to hell. <clears throat> Let's talk about marijuana real quick. Y'all voted to legalize it. Certainly it's not harmful for you in that case, right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Scientists, medical professionals are having a hard time cataloging all of the short-term side effects to marijuana, just the short term, not the long term. They're having a hard time cataloging all the short-term effects of marijuana. Like I said, they can't even get to the long term yet. <clears throat> 
So if you're visiting this dispensary behind me, um, they're not your friends there. They want to put you in the early grade. They want to put you in the emergency room. And they don't care about that. They'll sell you the green if they get the green. They want that money, 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 money. And your state has sold out your health for that because it has a tax and that goes to the government. So the government is against you today. Luckily, God has sent a street preacher out here today to speak to you, to warn you. Now there are different kinds of sin besides smoking marijuana. You can check. You can check the front of my sign here. Make sure you're right with God. He is who you will face when you die. You will not face Allah when you die. You will not face Buddha when you die. You will not face any of the over three million Hindu gods when you die. The Hindu pantheon has over three million gods. Holy cow! How do you keep up with that many? Is there an app for that? But you will not face them when you die. You will face the God of the Bible. The Bible says there's a point another man wants to die and then the judgment. You will be judged. Everything that you've done, everything that you've said. And if you're visiting this abomination of a business behind me, then uh, you're not going to fare well on judgment day. Now, of course, if you would like to be judged, I will do that for you free of charge. In fact, I'm not charging any money today. I know y'all want to pay for this excellent preaching, but no. I am self-funded. But yes, if you want to be judged, I will, I will judge you today. My judgment is far, far greater than God's judgment. Because when God judges you, you go to hell. That's not a place where you want to be. This is your wake-up call, Denver. Heaven or hell, when you die, make sure you make the right choice. If you're going to businesses like this behind me, businesses of the devil, uh, you're not going to fare well on Judgment Day. And yes, you will face God on Judgment Day. Read your Bible. That's what you're going to be judged by. That's the simple, that is it simply. God will not violate His Word. <clears throat> so you will be judged. Heaven or hell when you die, people. The Bible says that sorcerers will not inherit the kingdom of God. They will be put out of the kingdom. So don't be a sorcerer. If you're visiting this business behind me, yes, you are a sorcerer. That's what the Bible calls you. So don't be a sorcerer. <clears throat> don't be a sorcerer, people. Now, of course, uh, sorcerers will be visiting this place behind me, this abomination behind me. That's where the sorcerers go. They will not fare well on Judgment Day when the Bible says that they will be cast out. They will be outside of heaven. You don't want to be outside of heaven after Judgment. <laughs> Mitch is trying to get somebody to talk to him. They probably think you're with me yeah. and that you're going to talk to them about Jesus. Well, I am with you. I'm going to try to just... spirit. Don't be deceived, absolutely. Are you, are you on this list, sir? Are you on this list? Good for you. Good for you. You're, you're, you're ready for judgment? You're, you're, you're right with God? Probably an out the way right, halfway there. 
Well, you want to be all the way right. That's, that's through repentance. You repent of your sin, and you're right with God. And just live holy. No, no, not homosexual. Homosexuality kills people, you know that? Homosexuality kills people, just like alcohol, cigarettes, marijuana kills people. I, I, can't, I can't stand by that. I can't stand by homosexuality. If it kills people like that, you know. I mean, the, the average age of a homosexual is like 42. I want people to live long lives. Yeah, I don't want them to die early. So yeah, I speak out against homosexuality. I love people too much to let them continue in that death style. So you 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 read your Bible? Yes. Good good job good job. Yeah, that's that's what we gotta live by. That's our guidebook. I go to a Baptist. Oh good, I was raised Baptist. Yeah, I like it. You know, when the Baptists say, the Bible says it, I believe it, that settles it. I like that. <laughs> and they're always sending out missionaries to foreign countries. I love Baptists. Okay, don't be a sorcerer, people. Don't be a sorcerer. They're going to be outside the kingdom of God. So do not be a sorcerer. Those of you unfamiliar, you can look behind me. That is a place where the sorcerers go. To the marijuana dispensary. What's your message? Turn around. My message is the gospel. Oh, you want to see my back here? Turn around, let me see your message. Get right with God, people. Heaven or hell when you die. This is your wake up call. Hey, you right, brother. Yep. Don't be a sorcerer. That's behind me today. This abomination behind me, which kills. Nonviolent, absolutely. I'm not out here to fight anybody. I'm not out here to fight anybody. No. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't believe in violence. I don't believe in violence. I, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yes, this is as nonviolent as it gets. I, yeah, we didn't hear you because of the bus. But yes, people, this is, is, is nonviolent. This is a loving message. I'm here with a message of love for people. Heaven or hell when you die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, right here. And of course, sorcerers will not inherit the kingdom of God. I want to make sure you go to heaven. Yeah, take take uh take a look at the sign. Make sure you're not on this sign. Afternoon, like sir. Make sure you're not on this sign. Oh, you gotta stop that. Stop it before it kills you. Oh no. Of course you can stop. Un unbelieving also is on the list, or should be. How do you feel about the First Amendment? What's your opinion on the uh, First Amendment? That's the free speech, free speech yeah. 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 I believe Congress shall make no laws in there, is that in the First Congress shall make no law. Respecting freedom, freedom of speech. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, our friend here is from uh, Carolina. So he... I'm, a, I'm for un unorganized religion. That's what I'm for. Unorganized religion. Unorganized. Completely unorganized. I myself. That's, that's more. Yeah, that's more of or more of his thing. Yeah, we so are. I'm for unorganized. We're of different religions, but yeah. today, but today we're kind of out, sort of. Well, we both First believe in free, free speech. We both yeah. believe in the First Amendment. Well, you know, I like it unorganized. I want to be able to go in there and sit wherever the fuck I want. Uh -huh. I uh, generally have handouts I'd give you. Yeah. What do you got there? This is food for my friend's plate. Thanks, man. Cheers. Nice. You brought up there. This is food. I don't know what you got there. What's that? Uh, GoPro? He, yeah, GoPro. 
so here we're five. Like fucking... I'm here with a message of love for people. To set them on the straight and narrow. Emphasis so on the straight. Like you know, you don't want to be on this list. Oh, then I'm God's the angry list. with you. I'm on the list. Well, you, you <laughs> got to get right with God. You need to repent. But I like unorganized religion, dude. I like an unorganized. I don't like. I don't, the, what uh, makes you think I like religion? I hate religion. The Church of the Subgenius. Have you heard of it? The Church of the Subgenius, have you heard of them? You, you might like them. Google it, see how they, they're very I, I didn't. I didn't fare well with religion either. But when I found out I could have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and uh, that, that's when I jumped on board. I said, this is something I want, you know. Stay warm. Hey, Do you have a few minutes to talk about First Amendment today? Yes, we are the only country with a First Amendment. I saw a report, uh, a BBC uh, documentary, and the reporter, I mean, obviously biased, obviously biased, that she was doing a report on Christian street preachers. Uh -huh. And uh, was that the uh, and she's like Ruben Israel one and the uh, Anderson? yeah and the uh, Anderson yeah yeah which they aren't affiliated by right way. right but um yeah and she just she just marvelled that there's no there's no laws against them, them saying what they're saying yeah and the police actually have to protect them <laughs> when they say what they say I find it interesting when yeah. uh, when like Angela Cummings goes to Jerusalem and she's out there preaching and it's like dude that's not is she like she's acting like the First Amendment is worldwide and is not? <laughs> yeah. Like they've got some very strict. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't. Well, you can preach out there. I mean, even even Speaker's Corner now, which used to be, hey, you know, say say what you want. They don't. Right. They don't allow that anymore. In Hyde Park. Yeah, they don't allow that stuff anymore. I would love to go there. That's that's sort of. I don't want to be like, I don't want to say it's the Mecca of street preaching, but, you know, it is. Well, if you want to debate Muslims, right, that's definitely the place to go. That's right. Most of the conversations are that, right, between, uh, between the, the Christians and the Muslims. Yeah. And, I mean, they, they will sniff you out and they will confront you. And that was very recently a debate between one of the speaker's corners, Muslim apologists, and uh, uh, Dr. David Wood, I don't know if you know him, but he's a Christian apologist. Okay. And, uh, I mean, his his style of debate is, it's, it's not Western, put it that way. Because, uh -huh. I mean, they had this, they had these rules and they said, well, you know, uh -huh. don't do personal attacks, don't uh -huh. be, stay on topic. Uh -huh. And he just completely flouted them. Personal attacks are quite fun, generally. <laughs> it's very easy to... Yeah, and he just, he just, but you know, that, that, that's a rule in Islam that if you make a contract with, with a non-Muslim and you want to back out of it, you can. Anytime yeah. Anytime you want to. There's, yeah, no, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong. Yes, it is. Something's wrong. don't want to be That's a fucking lie. What's a lie? Anything. What's a lie? In what way? God did not come to condemn. You're not going to get people to want to know Jesus. I'm not condemning this. I'm, I'm out here loving. This is a message in, of love. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, Are I you a Christian? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say, I wouldn't know. I'm not, I'm not a Christian. But well, I am. That, he, it, that ain't going to get somebody to want to know Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> How are he changing? Oh. Well, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I, this is very loving. I'm keeping people from hell. Tell them about Jesus. Yes, this is your wake-up call, Denver. Heaven or hell, when you die, it's time to get right with the God of the Bible. Time to get right. If you're in sin, you hate Jesus. I will quote Jesus' words. 
If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Those are the words of Jesus. That's in red ink. After Noah made the ark and did all that, he got drunk. Uh, yeah. Read your Bible. Was that was that right? Was that right or was that wrong? It was wrong. What Noah did was wrong. How about how about when David slept with someone else's wife and then had him killed? Was that right or wrong? That was wrong. Yes, the Bible tells us our faults. The Bible tells how the people got away from him and got into sin. So that's something we want to avoid. We want to avoid sin. Sin will absolutely destroy you. Let's talk about a big one right behind me. Smoking marijuana. Smoking that wacky tobacco. You, it will kill you. It will kill you. Of all the drugs to abuse, that's probably one of the worst. They can't even keep up with all the short-term side effects of marijuana use, much less the long-term. You can count your, you can count the rest of your life in months, maybe even days if you're smoking that marijuana. <clears throat> kind of another lull. Mitch is trying to get comments, but they, 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 I think they're thinking he's with me, so I don't think he's going to get too many takers. I don't know. There is there is a, a fair amount of traffic. I mean, I'm assuming that if it wasn't below freezing and snowing, there would probably be more people out here. But, yeah, there's a, a, a fair amount of traffic. I'm just kind of waiting, waiting for someone else to show up, have some people walk by. Cause it's not, it's not a constant. It's not constant. It's like here and there, hit and miss. But yeah, I already, uh, already provoked one demon. So behind me is the High Life Dispensary. They need to change that. It's not High Life. More like Low Life. More like No Life. Why don't we go to the person who is the life? Jesus made the claim, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So you know how we get High Life in that dispensary, it's low life or no life. The true life is found in Jesus Christ. Free quick history lesson. Can anybody tell me the last words of Buddha? What were the last words of Buddha? Buddha said, before he died, I am still seeking for the truth. At his death, Buddha said, he's still seeking for the truth. And yes, wind blizzard. There is a man who said that he was the truth, and that's Jesus Christ. Okay, had a momentary interlude there. Had to get the windsock on the, the camera. Now I'm getting my gloves on. Uh, yeah, get back to some freaks. Oh, we got the bus stop in here. Okay, Denver, this is your wake up call. Heaven or hell, when you die, if you're visiting this dispensary behind me, you are on your way straight to hell. Flee before it's too late. 
They call themselves the high life. They should be truthful and say low life or no life. You're not going to find any life in there. The only life that's found worth living is through Jesus Christ. Are you YouTube in this? Yeah. Are you live? I'm not live, no. Uh, this is just for, uh, edit this later. Right. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Oh, thank you, man. This is a passion. It's called grit. Yep. Do what you do. <clears throat> this is your wake-up call, Denver. Get right with the God of the Bible. He is who you face when you die. You will face Him in judgment. You'll be judged for everything that you've said, everything that you've done. Are you ready for that judgment? I'll wait for the bus to come by. Go by. Have another lull. to work on. <clears throat> Out here today delivering good news. You don't have to die in your sin. You don't have to live in your sin. You can be sin-free through Jesus Christ. Absolutely sin-free. I am sin free and I love it. I love living holy. <clears throat> Sports idolatry is sin. Don't put anything before God, <coughs> especially a football team. That's ridiculous. Okay, the judgments, when you stand before the judgment seat of Christ, it's not going to be a football game. You're not going to have the head coach there to speak for you. Say, yes, you should let them in. They, uh, they worship my team. That's not going to happen. And certainly, if you're smoking that marijuana, you're not going to make your way to hell. Absolutely not. Of all the dumbest things a person can do, smoking marijuana has got to be near the top. Medicinal purposes, okay. How about all the scrometers in the emergency room? Does that, does that sound like medicinal? Sounds more like sinful. Sounds more like reaping what you've sown. You're smoking that marijuana, the Bible calls you a sorcerer. A sorcerer. And sorcerers will not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm trying to get somebody to take the bait on the whole sorcerer thing. They won't do it. All right. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I had to get some food. So what did you see here? <sighs> uh, another lull. I'll tell you what, I, I liked it when it started get cooling down for autumn. We had a very hot summer, but this is, this is, this is right cold right here. No way. Yeah, we can wrap it up whenever you, whenever you feel like it. I, I'll, just, I'm, I'll just try to show the passes by until you, until you want to... I, I think I'm ready to shut it down. Cool, yeah, take as so long this, as you this, want. This, this battery is about dead, so I'll need to change it anyway. So later on, you'll probably want to do like a like a like a dialogue or something like yeah, that. Yeah, let's go to the hotel. There's a breakfast nook there that was pretty. pretty nice. Okay. Well, uh, did some preaching, had some passerbys, had a little bit of stuff go on, but yeah, I might I might just yeah just let this one go, you know. Yeah. 
not, not right doing the edits. I didn't really have any long interactions with anybody. Yeah. So I might just uh, do as he is. Anyway, this is uh, EC Street Preacher. I'm going to sign out for now.